everyone thinks that it's selling sunsets and closing checks and nice dresses and high heels all day. No. So... Good morning, y'all. And not starting the vlog off already outside. What's up, y'all? If, welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tayan, but you can call me Taj because we cool like that. And if you read the title, today is going to be a spend the day with me as a realtor. Ooh, ciao. I'll talk to y'all in a second. All right, y'all. My bad. So we are back. As I was saying, if you read by the title, today is going to be a spend the day with me as a realtor. As you guys see, I got on my brokerage t-shirt because it's given real chill day. This was a very last minute kind of rush day, not necessarily, but I have an out-of-state client who is on a time crunch and they're military and they are PTSing here at the end of this month. Happy May. Happy <laughs> happy may y'all but yeah my clients will be here at the end of the month and if you know the military you know they do everything last minute so my client just got their orders literally a couple days ago so we are in crunch mode so today we are going to be seeing four homes hopefully nothing goes wrong we have four showings scheduled but before i even get into that i don't know if y'all can tell by the background if you're part of the tribe then you know I have a therapy appointment this morning and I am more than happy that I do. It has been a very long weekend. I haven't really been creating content like I want to because personal life has been personal. Like, my personal life has been crazy the last couple of weeks. But today is a beautiful day. I got a lot of work to do. It's money making May. Like, I just took my locks out. Y'all, I literally just took the style from Malik's birthday out last night and today is may 3rd and malik's birthday was april 6th so yeah i got the locks down or whatever skin looking real moisturized but mother nature trying to mm -mm. i don't like what she trying to do to my face i was just clearing it up but y'all it's gonna be a hectic day i have breakfast on the go today shout out to malik for real for real because he made me a blt breakfast sandwich to go and i love him for that because he knows if he wouldn't have did that i probably wouldn't have ate and then when we went grocery shopping at Lowe's, I haven't shown y'all Lowe's. If you follow me on TikTok, which you should, uh, I'm going to put my TikTok on the screen. Come join the tribe over there. We be having real fun over there. Y'all, I found this grocery store called Lowe's, literally spelled just like the hardware store, but it's a grocery store, and it is the bougiest grocery store I have ever seen, and I absolutely love it. They have these kombuchas from this brand called Updog that I've never seen before. Y'all, this flavor is Sphinx Mojito. And it says it's low calorie. I probably should have read. Oh, this has a lot of sugar. Dang. I mean, I'm going to drink it, but it's okay because I have my water. Y'all, I'm a mess today. And I got four minutes to get into therapy. So uh, let me get out of here. I will tap in with y'all after my therapy appointment because my showing is... For about 45 minutes after it ends so we're gonna have a day y'all come along with me let's see where the day takes us let's go look at some houses and yeah I'll all right y'all so just that fast we are done with therapy it's 11 o'clock it was an amazing amazing session literally y'all i can't say it enough how much i'm so glad that i started going to therapy i'm so glad i found my therapist and i really cannot thank the loctician lavender that started my locks if you guys haven't watched that vlog if you're new here of me locking my hair a few months ago i actually got the recommendation for my therapist from my loctician so i am so eternally grateful to her for that because y'all oh i feel so much lighter i feel like i'm ready to tackle the day because we have four showings First one's at 11.45, so I have some time. GPS says it's about 16 minutes away, so I have some time. I did not take my breakfast in there because it be smelling so good in there. And I didn't want to be in there busting down my breakfast. So I'm about to chill in the car, eat my breakfast. Y'all, Malika really loves me. He made me a BLT. 
babe, because I know you're watching this. You're the goat for real, for real. Uh, that probiotic drink, eh, for it to have had a lot of sugar in it, it was not very tasty. Not to say that it should have been, but y'all get the vibes. Usually the stuff with mad sugar be mad good, and then it was I. Right. It wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah, but there was my probiotics for the day, and I took it, I drank it on an empty stomach, so... I'm going to do what needs to be done. This water has to last me all day, so I have to chill. But, yeah, I will touch bases with y'all when we get to the first property. So, see y'all when we get there. Bless up. 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 As soon as I wake up in the morning, I see dollar signs. It's the only thing that's on my mind Other than pussy You can't put me All these poor faces on me I feel like Chucky Counting back on 30 floors I need it really If I leave the house I can't say when I'm coming back Ain't no sense my mouth I just walked out and threw some bread You can smoke what you want Bro, just grab some pack Look at this bitch all over me all right as you guys see we made it to the first house you guys got a little tour at the end of the video let me know which house you guys like best like which one could you see yourself in one two three or four but then again we the day's still young we gotta make sure we make it to all four but i'm here did my quick little walk through home seems to be great conditions so i am about to facetime my client and give them the walkthrough and i will tap in with you guys a little bit later all right y'all so i just got off the call with my client they love the home they actually want to put an offer on it but we're going to go see one more they actually don't even want to see all four but we are going to see one more just to have a backup because when i pulled up to this one there was someone else showing it so there is another at least one other interest of this property so we want to rush to go see the backup option see if she likes that one and then race home to type up the contract for this one so that was that was pretty easy <laughs> you don't really expect that to go like that especially on the first first showing but yeah that's where we're headed so we're headed to the second one so i will see y'all when we get there all right y'all so it wouldn't be real estate if there wasn't some type of bump in the road sorry if you guys hear that elevator music i'm currently on hold so both the first property that you guys just saw and this one are listed with open door if you're a realtor you know you get it so that means a person is not selling this house the person who used to own this house has sold their home to open door which is a brokerage but really it's a business so those letters people send in the mail hey we buy houses for cash pretty much the, the previous owner of this home sold the home to a company like that and now that's who I'm dealing with and they were supposed to text me the combination for the locks box to get into the home an hour before my appointment I still never received a text message so now I am on hold waiting for them to get me the code so that I can unlock the door they are also having system problems today which is why they're saying i didn't receive the text message for this home but i got the text message for the last home so these are just the things that go on behind the scenes in real estate that no one really talks about uh, dealing with these mega corporations versus dealing with actual people in the home buying and selling process is really 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 frustrating if you are a first-time buyer or if you are on track to purchase your first home that is 
something to think about as well I talk about this a lot in a lot of my real estate gem videos I have a playlist that you guys can go ahead and click that link that just popped up where I tell you all about the real estate process and kind of break it down so one of the things I talk about when choosing a lender and if you don't know what a lender is it's just the bank or financial institution that is actually going to be writing out the loan for your mortgage I can't speak for other realtors I always recommend going with a smaller local lender versus going with a big bank so like Chase or Bank of America or Wells Fargo or whoever you may bank with because the issue with those big banks is not that they're not good lenders they don't have good rates the problem is that when problems arise sorry y'all I thought she came back it is really hard to get a person on the phone when you need to speak to someone real quick like for example this had this been a home listed by a person who just had a regular realtor I'd be able to literally just call up their realtor right now get the code you get what I'm saying it'll be a lot more direct approach versus elevator music and me having to call a 888 number so pretty much a 1-800 number to get into this house there's no shade so my leather seats are baking and I'm just standing in the sun granted the locks are you know getting some vitamin D but that's not the point but back to what I was saying about the lenders yeah it's really hard to get someone on the phone and then even when you do get someone on the phone in a real estate transaction chances are you're going to have issues and bumps come up where you need to speak to someone more than once and with these big mega corporations like the big banks that I just named it's hard to get the same person on the phone every time so you find yourself explaining your situation every single time we need to call someone and as a first-time home buyer if you have a good realtor they're not gonna let you feel that stress but on the back end that is really stressful for us and ultimately could be stressful for you if we're not getting what we need that means you're not getting the house you want and the process is not going fast so I always recommend going with small local lenders because one it's just a more personable experience you may speak to Tina at the front desk every single time you call so Tina knows you by now she knows your situation she knows what's going on you get what I'm saying so just food for thought if you are a first-time buyer or in the market for your first home but yeah y'all so I guess that's just a quick little update welcome to the life of real estate this is how it goes so yeah I will let you guys see the home whenever I get in to see the home because all you saw was the cute b-roll outdoor footage and then record scratch because here we are baking in the sun in jeans mom jeans at that so whatevs but i guess i see y'all when we get a side child whenever that is because as y'all hear i'm still on home so yes i'm still here ah <sighs> y'all these are the things that go on behind the scenes in the real estate world sorry y'all there was a bug in the car um yeah they, these are the things that go on behind the scenes that nobody gets to see everyone thinks that it's selling sunsets and closing checks and nice dresses and high heels all day no so i never got into that house i'm literally just leaving it's 108 i sat outside that house for an hour literally calling anybody and everybody i've been on hold for majority of that time and open door is having system issues and outages so they cannot grant me remote access to the the property and give me the access code because they can't verify my phone number because the system that they use to send the text to verify my phone number is not working so I just sat outside in the heat because that house as you guys saw had no shade I mean I was in the car but I, I'm glad I didn't burn gas for an hour but sat outside in the heat for an hour to not be able to see it and this is exactly what I was talking about literally in the last clip when I was talking about going with these big businesses and corporations versus dealing with actual people because if this was a regular listing that had a regular listing agent I could just call the listing agent and get the code granted that doesn't mean the listing agent would have 
answered or been available but I would not probably have been on hold for an hour to find out I can't see the home and now my clients want to put in an offer on the first one but that one is also listed with open door which tells me that this is going to be a pain in the ass type of deal because I'm not dealing with people I'm dealing with a company whose systems can go down so I verified that their system outages would not be an issue for me submitting an offer and they can't tell me if it will be they're hoping their system will be up by then meanwhile I'm literally nine minutes from my house on my way home to go submit that offer right now right right y'all like ah This is how real estate goes. So I'm rushing home to go type up that offer, put in the offer, and then hopefully get my clients home. And hopefully the offer will even go through because with Open Door, I'm not submitting this to an agent. I have to like submit this offer through like a portal and a website, which I'm assuming is part of their system, which is down right now. So yeah, y'all. This is how that goes. I'm not really sure what the rest of this day is going to consist of. I had planned to do a whole bunch of showings and you, I, y'all, I had a whole day's worth of content with four showings. And now after the first one, we're heading home. I mean, to type of an offer, respectfully so. But, you know, there's that. So, yeah, I guess... Where is that coming from? Sorry, y'all. There's an ambulance. Yeah, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next clip. I I don't know where this vlog going at this point, child, but we'll see. So, try. Mm, yeah, I need to listen to some music in Wusa. So, talk to y'all later. QB roll or whatever. Whatever's next. It's always easier to tell you lies. Let it show for your surprise. You see me as Mr. Right. What of advice? Change your mind. Cause you're blind. Might as well close your eyes. If you open them, you'll cry. Cause you see through my disguise. See right through me, you will. See who I am. Anyway, y'all, I ended up coming back home. I ended up getting that offer prepped. I am now waiting to head back for my client and her husband. And that's kind of just a part of the game is all the in-between waiting for correspondence. So while we wait for that, I drafted up the offer. I am waiting to hear back from my client. But in the meantime, since I have it all drafted up and it's a nice day outside, we are going to go to a strawberry farm. I We've been shopping very much like organic farmer's market. Again, I feel like I said it already earlier, but I don't remember. That open doors stuff really has my brain flustered. But, uh, damn, what was I going to say? Hmm. As y'all see, made a smoothie. Because... I'm kind of hungry, but I want to make sure I'm getting all the things in my body that it needs before I, I just eat whatever I want. So fruits, veggies, sea moss, uh, herbs, everything is what it's giving. Oh my goodness, I'm turning into one of them girls. <laughs> ah, but that's what I was talking about. We've been shopping very much organic in farmer's markets, very farm table-like. Uh, the past few weeks again if you follow me on tiktok which you should you would know that you know your girl been trying to like shop locally as far as like 
farmers markets for like food and produce and stuff but then also for plants because i'm officially a plant mom I got quite a few now do i know what i'm doing mm, not necessarily but they look good and none of them is dying so a win is a win actually i could show y'all all right so this is what the tray looks like this is one of the plant babies and this cute pot I got from Ross that has these like wooden Y'all, Davy is like obsessed with strawberries. So this is like dreams come true for him. Strawberry, cinnamon, pecan bread. Is he three feet tall? Y'all, so we are officially about to go in the field and start picking. We have no idea what we're doing. We've never done anything. Well, I picked apples, but like I've never been to a strawberry farm and it's so dope. I mean, there's no shade, so we've got to get our gallon of strawberries. A gallon of strawberries is only $17. Like, and we also are not trying to make a big deal about it, but, um, I don't know if you guys could see, but the ground is sand. And if you know, you know. If you've seen that vlog, comment down below that you know what vlog I'm talking about because that is a big deal for Xavion, for us. I'm glad he didn't ruin this because we really want some strawberries. And I want some fresh strawberries. I want to try to make some uh, strawberry almond milk. Maybe I'll do that in this. Well, I got to let that soak overnight, so I probably won't do this. do that in this vlog we'll see we'll see but qb bro because it's windy what's up tribe editing taj here because ciao the day just got away from me and y'all i forgot to end the vlog my bad y'all listen i was flustered but this is really how my real estate days go so if you want to see more realistic day in the life of a realtor go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you can officially become part of the tribe and yeah y'all i'll see you in my next video she didn't call me.